The Vice President Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia has launched Ghana's first comprehensive building code, GS 1207 2018, in Accra. The code is aimed at regulating the construction of roads and buildings of the country to ensure efficiency, value for money, and safety for public construction. Launching the code, Dr. Baumia said the GS 1207 2018 and other initiatives rolled out by the government will make Ghana a globally competitive country with sound infrastructure to drive economic growth. The main focus of the Ghana Building Code is to ensure adequate protection, public health and safety in the building and construction industry. The code covers new buildings or those undergoing renovations. It sets standards on the quality and durability of construction materials. Prior to the introduction of the new building code, Ghana did not have a uniform standard for construction industry to guide how developers should build. But the new building code will ensure uniformity in the construction industry by providing building professionals, developers and investors with common standards for public health, safety, fire protection, structural efficiency and environmental integrity. The new code is a benchmark against the Green Construction Code, an international building code will serve as a reference standard for designers regulators, safety instructors, and other stakeholders in the building and safety industry. The code also focuses on fire protection, plumbing works, electrical works, and mechanical system building construction, high-rise buildings, underground buildings, stores, residential buildings, and any other building in the country. The board chair of the Ghana Standard Authority, Dr. Kwesia Champon, described the building code as a document that will ensure that standards of public safety are not compromised. The Minister for Works and Housing, Mr. Atacha, said the building could signal the readiness of the government to put the country on a path of modernity. This huge document that we have here will not benefit Ghana one coin if it's not enforced. It would have been a terrible waste of time to bring the whole acting president here to do this um, assignment and it's not enforced. So we should do everything in our power to enforce it. Staff of the Building and Road Research Institute, Dr. Eugene Etienne, said a new code has given room for the use of products produced by the CSIR. Some of the prominent materials considered in this new code are the use of pozzolana cement, adobe wall, lesser used timber species for construction such as bamboo and rattan. CSR BRI has been involved in the development of these locally available materials over the years and have worth of experience in the production of these materials. Vice President Dr. Mohamed Baumia said the Ghana Building Code has come at the right time to give the country value for money and safety in the construction industry. To guarantee the quality and durability of materials used in construction, buildings, schools, roads, hospitals and all types of public construction work must use materials that are in line with the standards specified in the Ghana Building Code. Once specifications for building in accordance with the standards specified in the Ghana Building Code and construction materials utilized are specified in the code, it should be possible to have fairly accurate uniform costs for all types of construction in the country. This is definitely expected to help us in achieving value for money. The Ghana Building Code will make Ghana safer, and safety is very important. According to the Ghana Standard Authority, henceforth, every construction works in the country must conform to the standards spelled out in the Ghana Building Code. In view of this, the authority has dispatched copies of the Building Code to district assemblies across the country free of charge. Yes.